Hey everybody, how's it going? Bill Walmer, Director of Connections here at Calvary, and we are on week three of the parables. This is going by so fast. This week, it, uh, Pastor Jim talked about developing a humble heart, and he walked us through the parable of the Pharisee and the tax collector. And this week's digging deeper question that kind of stood out to me is, is it hard for you to be humble at times? And this is the idea that Pastor Jim talked about. You know, he, you know, he's a good pastor. He's a good preacher. You know, he's really good, probably at least the best on staff, right? And you know, we can compare him to others. But, you know, he, his humble heart is, is that, you know, he surrounds himself with people that will do exceptional jobs in other areas. Like he has Mark doing worship and tech and all the things that Mark does. And then Pastor Jim D, you know, with his jokes, he mentioned that on Thursday night, that, you know, his wit is pretty good and, and sometimes better than the rest of ours. And some of you are thinking, better? No, I love Jim B and I love his jokes. They crack me up every time. Um, but I do have a dry sense of humor also. But, um, but the idea of the question being, is it hard or it, yeah, is it hard for you to be humble at times? And, and I think that one of the things that I learned early on, especially, um, in sports, I played sports all my life is that there was always somebody better than you. So you didn't want to end up having this big head or think that you were all that in a bag of chips. Because as soon as you start doing that, that's when you get really knocked off your perch. And, and sometimes that's the way God is too. Sometimes like if we get too big headed, God reminds us in, in subtle ways. And, and sometimes it's, it's a hard lesson that we have to learn. So um, sometimes I find it hard, but I will honestly say that, that just having that mindset that there are always somebody out there that is better than me, that I can learn from. Um, I mean, we look at Jesus, that guy, fully God, fully man, right? And he had a humble heart. He served in humility. I mean, he washed his disciples' feet. When we keep that in perspective, I think that makes it a little bit easier uh, for us to stay grounded, for us to stay humble, um, and also, like we read in Romans 12, 3 through 5, that but grace, for by the grace given to me, I say to everyone among you, not to think of himself more highly than he ought to think. So, even though God has blessed us with gifts, we also need to remember that uh, our gifts are for his service and not for our glory. So if you guys had any thoughts on this week's Digging Deeper, any of the questions, go ahead and put them down below in the comments. Otherwise, I can't wait to see you guys either Thursday night or Sunday morning. Have a great week.